guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Anna and today I have an all new sellers haul for you guys and you guys, I am so excited about this table. If you guys joined my last live sale, I did mention towards the end that this next one would be an all blue theme. I did a while back do an all pink theme with like rose quartz, pink amethyst, highlights and that was a lot of fun and you guys really enjoyed it. So this time around, I decided to do an all blue theme and you guys, a lot of these gorgeous beauties are high quality items high quality crystals so i am so excited to share with you guys what is out on the table so let's get started so the first thing that i actually set up the table with are these gorgeous laramar items it's actually been almost a year to this day that i have done laramar so it's actually been a while since i've had some in the shop but i did get all new laramar items in and i am so so excited if you guys don't know laramar is from the dominican republic and I did get some newer options that I didn't have in the shop before. So I ended up spotting these really cool half polished, half raw, kind of like geode type of Laramar, which you guys, I am obsessed with. So I have had double polished slabs in my shop before, which I also will have on this table, but I really just was obsessed with these half polished, half raw geodes. So I did get a lot of these in a lot of different sizes. So some bigger, some smaller. I don't have really, really big pieces. So more medium and smaller pieces, but you guys, they are so beautiful. Now you can get like super raw Laramar, and if you are someone that does jewelry or you have the tools, you can even technically cut through these and get like two slices out of them. So I just really thought these were super fun. Um, I haven't seen something like this in the market before, so I was so excited when my seller had these because again, I just thought it was a super unique item. So here is like a larger piece, but you guys look at how stunning that is so if you are someone who cuts like crystals or anything like that you can technically like cut into these and get a few more slabs out of them if you wanted to or again you can just display them as is as like the chunk itself again it's just something that i thought was really cool because i just haven't seen anything like it before and again i think i am seeing it kind of more often now so i do think it is something that is kind of coming to the mass market recently and you guys i am absolutely obsessed they're just really fun really different again nothing against the fully polished items i just really loved that they were raw slash polished but then i also did get some gorgeous double pot well basically fully polished slabs for you guys as well so there will be an option of the fully polished ones and then the geodes with kind of the raw backs i just thought that was a lot of fun but of course, I did get the fully polished options as well. So you guys will have really good variety when it comes to these Laramar slabs. And then again, as I mentioned, I didn't get like really, really huge pieces. So you guys will have a really nice variety of kind of medium and more smaller ones. But you guys, they are all so gorgeous so i actually worked directly with a supplier from the dominican republic to get these in and oh let me tell you this guy never disappoints i also was able to get some new carvings in as well i will have these really cute seashell carvings which i think is just so authentic to larimar because it comes from such a tropical caribbean climate that anything that's related to kind of the sea the ocean just makes a lot of sense because of where they come from so i just thought that was really fun and then of course i did restock up on these beautiful hearts that you guys really enjoyed I know a lot of you guys really enjoy these kind of cab hearts. So they are at the bottom, they aren't puffy. On the other side, they're flat. So one side is puffy and then the bottom part is a flat part. So technically, if you wanted to make it into jewelry or if you know like a silversmith that can put it into a pendant, you can do that. Or of course, you can just display them as is. A lot of you guys just buy them and put them in your Laramar collection or within your crystal collection just because they are so gorgeous and i'm telling you guys the camera is not even picking up like the quality a lot of these are going to be really nice quality larimar so i will have some kind of lower quality with some kind of natural rough spots but the hearts and a lot of the polished shapes 
are really nice higher quality Laramar. So I'm super excited for you guys to see them because honestly, I promise you the videos never do them justice. Also, I did get a new round of these gorgeous mini spheres as well. Of course, I try to be on the more affordable side so I don't get really really big pieces because unfortunately a lot of the bigger pieces will probably go for upwards like to 500 and up so i do try to be mindful and i do get more smaller pieces so again smaller slabs smaller spheres smaller hearts but there will be a variety of sizes on the smaller end if anyone is interested in like real big statement pieces that is something i can do as well just definitely let me know in the comment section or if you wanna send me a message on Instagram, I always love to hear feedback or if there is things. Also, if you are sourcing a specific item, if there is something specific that you would like and try to get it for you. Then the next item I have on this table, you guys, are these absolutely gorgeous fluorites. Now, absolute disclaimer on this, I did mention it in my Instagram. It was recently found that these beautiful fluorite specimens from China are irradiated so what that does mean is that they are heated to have this color so just so you guys know this is being marketed as like fluorite on smoky quartz but it actually is just fluorite on regular quartz because of the heating process it does heat up the quartz to look like smoky and it does kind of give these gorgeous different blue and green tones to fluorite but i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I'm absolutely obsessed. So I remember when these first hit the market and I was like, oh my God, I need some. But of course, I don't jump on everything right when it comes to the market because sometimes things are mislabeled, mismarketed. So I kind of give it a little bit. So there was a crystal seller that actually went out of their way to get these tested. So the test came back that they weren't dyed pieces, but that they were actually heated pieces to make this type of color because naturally these fluorites would be just either clear or very 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 light green on clear quartz and then they came to find that to get these colors on the fluorites that it was heated so i just want to put that out there i do want to put that disclaimer out there i did ask because these are treated if you guys would still be interested in them and a lot of you guys still had a lot of interest in these pieces because I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous either way. The quality on these is, oof. The quality on these is really beautiful and gorgeous. And even though it is a heated piece, I do think it is really gorgeous. Honestly, if it was a dyed piece, I would probably stay away from it, to be honest with you. I wouldn't get it if it was a dyed piece. But because they are just heated to get this color, I don't mind it so much. Again, that's just personal preference. Everybody has their own preferences. But I honestly just think they're so beautiful that I couldn't pass them up. And again, a lot of you guys were interested in a piece, even though it was a heated piece. So I didn't get a ton of it, but I did get a few really beautiful pieces. Another thing is, is that they are super, super expensive. And actually a lot of sellers out of China don't even know that this is being treated, that this isn't natural. A lot of them do think it's natural, even though like I reached out to my supplier and I asked if they were natural. And of course they said yes, but there was a shop that did do some testing. And unfortunately it did come to find that this effect and this beautiful color of fluorites is only able to happen when it is heated then again this is why you will see that the quartz looks more of like a smoky quartz when it actually is just a regular white quartz but again nevertheless i think it is beautiful but i did just want to drive home with you guys that these are not natural but they are still really beautiful they are still fluoride and quartz so of course you get the benefits of those crystals but i just wanted to make it clear for anyone that's asking or wondering a lot of shops did end up selling these prior to this other shop that did the research so, so a lot of shops did end up finding out and stating that if they did get a piece like this like if a customer did get a piece of this fluoride that unfortunately it was treated and not natural but again i do think a lot of people still like it for what it is i still really love it for what it is and i love that it has quartz and fluorite in it and i just think they're really beautiful so i did get a few so i am super excited about that because i know even though i did mention that these were um irritated a lot of you guys were still interested in a piece so i did snag up a few of those also i am super excited about this i was able to get some really gorgeous high quality celestite pieces for you guys and oh 
my goodness. So I did end up getting two really beautiful statement pieces. One has a ton of gorgeous crystallization and is really open. And then the other big one is pretty much kind of still in a cave form. And you guys, it is heavy. Oh, it is like four pounds, four or five pounds. It's a really big piece, but it is a really gorgeous deep and dark piece. So if any of you guys are looking for some statement celestite pieces, I will have two out on the table that I am super excited about. But then I also did get some smaller options as well, because of course I try to be mindful of every price point and every budget. So there are some smaller pieces also that will be out on the table. Recently, I've noticed that I've honestly been really gravitating towards blue crystals recently, hence why the all blue crystal table, just because that is something that I've been buying a lot of. But you guys, how insane is this quality? So there will be a few smaller pieces and then two larger statement pieces. So if anyone's been looking for a statement celestite piece, definitely join the live sale. And then I also have some really fun smaller carvings at the bottom. So I did get some trollite finally back in the shop. It is a while since I've had trollite. So I did get these really gorgeous angels. Both the angels as well as the towers out on the table are from Brazil. I know a lot of folks have recently been asking me for like more angel carvings, more goddesses carvings. So I definitely am on the hunt for some more for you guys. I also honestly haven't had angel carvings in a long time, so I've definitely been trying to find more. And then I also thought these were super cute. Are these really cute little blue marble frogs? How cute are these? So this is actually dyed marble, but I just thought the color of them was so pretty and the detailing was super minimal. Like it's not too much detailing, but enough detailing that you can understand what the creature is. I just thought these were so cute and I really love like the banding on it. Of course, I love the blues. I am super biased when it comes to blue crystals. I tend to get a lot of them. I just really liked the look of these. So I did get a few of these as well. So full disclosure, Disclosure, those are dyed, but that is dyed marble. So again, a real stone, just that it is dyed. And of course, I'm always gonna let you guys know if something is man manipulated and not 100% natural. Then the next thing I wanna show you guys, I did mention this a few videos ago, is that I did get some more of these really gorgeous, high quality blue onyx pieces for you guys. I did have moons previously, but I only had a very small amount and a lot of it sold out during the live sale. Yeah. And I wasn't able to get it up on the website. So I am hoping that some of these pieces will still be available to post on the website because I know not everybody has Instagram. But if you do or if you were thinking about it, I would definitely highly recommend getting Instagram just because you do get first dibs on these gorgeous items. Um, but yes, I did get a lot more this time. They are a little bit smaller than what the moons are. So I just want you guys to be aware they won't be as pricey as the moons. So they are smaller, but they are really gorgeous, high quality blue onyx. So I'm super excited about that because I know not a lot of you were able to get your hands on the moons, which I honestly was so sad about because I didn't know the moons were gonna do so well, but I did promise you guys that I would get something else. So I did get these gorgeous hearts. And then the last thing out on the table, as I mentioned with the angels, I also do have some gorgeous trollite towers and some really nice options. So some of them are really nice and big, some smaller options. And again, this is something that I haven't had in the shop in so long. So it's actually been a while since I've had any trollite from Brazil. So I am super excited about these pieces. I know a few of you guys wanted trollite in the shop. So I did get some gorgeous pieces for you guys. And of course they have that beautiful Brazilian cut with kind of the chunkier face at the front. You guys know, Recently, I've been buying all of my crystals from Brazil. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the last couple orders that I have gotten in have been from Brazil. It's actually been a while since I bought from other countries just because I'm so obsessed with the Brazilian cuts and just how beautiful their carvings are. And then of course, obviously I got the Lara Martin from Dominican Republic, but I've actually had this for a while. I don't know why it took me so long to get Lara Mart out on the table, but this was kind of the perfect live sale to bring them out. 
So I'm super, super excited for this table. I really hope you guys can join me. If you can join me, the live sale is gonna be at 8 p.m. So two hours after this video posts on YouTube, it'll be over at Anna's Crystal Shop on my Instagram. So if you can join, definitely join. Usually I do have items that are left over, so I will post them to the site either late Friday night or first thing Saturday morning. So definitely keep an eye out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you can join, definitely join the live sale. If not, don't worry. These items will be posted to the website. And thank you guys so much for all your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.